Hello and welcome to 3 Auto TV. Blockchain technology is gaining popularity at a brisk pace. It has mesmerized the world of technology through some path setting innovation. In a view of growing influence of newest technology features such as immutability and decentralization, many businesses and domains have started adopting blockchain technology in their enterprise suit. As per Statista estimates, by 2024, the spending on blockchain will reach almost $19 billion. That's a mind-boggling number. I'm sure several questions must be popping to your mind. The very basic questions would be, how does this technology help different industries? How can blockchain change the world around us? And what does its future look like? And many more. So to understand the current trends on blockchain technology, I'm joined by Mr. Yashodhan Ramdeke, founder of BlockBuzz Innovate. Welcome to 3 Daughter TV, sir. Hi, Roshni. So talking about the tokenization of assets, it is becoming increasingly popular in blockchain space. Uh, what are the examples of assets that can be tokenized? And could you shed some light on how tokenization unlock liquidity, accessibility and fractional ownership opportunities for investors? I think this is a very good question and uh, tokenization of real world assets because we have been seeing blockchain is in vogue for a very long time. One of the first use cases of blockchain where it came, we had NFTs where we had nfts of crypto punk and a lot of things which were not very tangible so we had uh, those nfts uh, so it was more of a hype kind of a thing but recently since past one or two years we are seeing uh, the blockchain world is moving from hype towards value and we are tokenizing rather than intangible assets we are directly tokenizing tangible assets which directly has inbuilt value in them the earlier nfts did not have any inbuilt value in them but with the tokenization of real world assets, here lies the actual uh, value and the beauty of blockchain. So I'll just give you one, two examples where we ourselves are work working in uh, this space and I have a direct uh, first hand uh, experience in this. So one thing which is very interesting is we are tokenizing the carbon offsets. Uh, so carbon credits is a very uh, unique market and we had uh, a lot of carbon credits which were being traded one of the things which is happening currently is those carbon credits are being tokenized uh, around, apart from carbon credits the other things which we see being tokenized are your real estates so now real estate again is a very interesting market and because usually people were not able to buy uh, properties uh, which are very high value and currently recently the indian government also the regulators have also allowed uh, tokenization of real, uh, real estate assets mm -hmm. so you can uh, fractionalize the real estate and tokenize it and then you can buy the, buy the fractions of the uh, tokenized real estate assets which gives you access which increases the liquidity in the market as well one very interesting use case which we are working with two or three state governments is tokenization of tdrs that is a transferable development rights now again, if you tokenize the TDRs, transferable token, uh, transferable development rights, you can again bring liquidity to a completely illiquid market. The TDRs were a very illiquid markets, so they are trying to tokenize TDRs where uh, you can completely build a layer of fintech on uh, once the TDRs are tokenized. You can have debt raised on that. You can have a trading of uh, TDRs, which are very uh, much possible. So I see a lot of interesting things where real world uh, assets are being tokenized i have heard about gold being tokenized in some of the geographies so very interesting things happening in this space so following our discussion on tokenization let's pivot to another crucial application of t blockchain technology that is supply chain transparency and it's evident that blockchain has vast potential in this area so how do you see its impact on improving transparency and traceability and what benefits does it offer to businesses and consumers again a very nice question of how blockchain basically the concept of blockchain was to eliminate trust and build a public ledger where different parties can interact and transact with each other without the need for a third party trust. We had banks, we had another uh, agencies which were required in a traditional system where blockchain was not used to build that trust between two parties. Mm -hmm. Now blockchain gives you the solution and typically supply chains are where a lot of parties interchange their uh, material, their value, their data to create a complete product 
and this product uh, goes through different supply lines and reaches the consumer now with blockchain once we identify each partner who is coming in the supply chain make every supply partner a node and they there is a digital identity for each supply partner you can see whatever is going inside the uh, supply chain in a very transparent traceable and immutable manner hmm. and the end customer is also very happy what he is getting i will just give you two examples where we have seen blockchain and supply chain being used very beautifully there is a farmer uh, organization in nasik called as sayadri farms so they are one of the largest exporters of grapes from india and the consumers usually do not know where the source of grapes is coming from what is the harvest how much money actually goes to the uh, uh, farmer who is actually doing this thing are there a third party is get, getting the benefit of this so sayadri farms has put the complete uh, supply their complete supply chain right from the harvesting of the grape where it is been harvested which farmer is there where the packaging happens where the export happens till the last consumer and they have put a qr code printed qr code and they are on their packaging once you uh scan the qr code the whole supply chain of the grape fruit comes to them with a complete way of where it was packaged where which farmer actually grew it also the beauty is that you don't even know you you near, know where the farmer with uh, it was produced where the, it was harvested you also get to know how much of the money which you are paying to the to get the grapes is going to the farmer as well so supply chain uh, blockchain and supply chain makes this transparency very useful for the elements in the block in the supply chain as well as to the consumers one more example i will give you where again we have seen very amazing uh, use of blockchain in uh, the supply chain side is where uh, hyundai and kia the the car manufacturers have put their co2 emissions on uh, the car on the blockchain so hyundai and kia are putting their own emissions in the blockchain and along with that they have implemented scms where their supply side the whole supply upstream and downstream supply of their value chain supply chain their emissions are also being monitored measured and being put on the uh, on the blockchain so that the last consumer or anybody who wants to check the scope 1 scope 2 scope 3 emissions they can come and directly check it on uh, the blockchain so these are two three very exciting examples of how blockchain is being used in the supply chain for the benefit of the whole uh, supply chain players as well as the consumers continuing our exploration of blockchain's diverse applications let's discuss the concept of tokenizing carbon credits this ties into the previous discussion on transparency and accountability how do you envision blockchain's role in revolutionizing carbon markets thank you uh, roshni this is a question which is very close to my heart uh, sustainability and i think this is a question which should be close to everybody's heart we have been seeing a lot of climate change uh, things happening uh, currently uh, we i stay in mumbai i think you are also there in mumbai so we have seen yeah. the aqi getting affected very badly the weather patterns have changed very drastically all this kyoto protocols all this carbon credits they were just very fancy terms some 2 3 years back but currently every uh, body in the world and uh, is getting affected by it and there is a real need to tackle this problem one of the basic uh, problems with the carbon market the traditional carbon market was there was no traceability of the whole carbons there was no uh, oh, there was a lot of vague and uh, that was very vague and very opaque what blockchain brings is the trust and traceability in this uh, market and what was happening a lot of companies were saying that we are bring we are buying the carbon credits from the carbon projects but there was a, no traceability and transparency of what is happening behind the scene so we have seen a lot of green washing happening in the traditional carbon markets a lot of double counting happening in the traditional markets double counting is uh, say suppose the same project is generating say uh, x number of carbon credits and the final buyer has to only buy this x numbers but what we have seen is this x numbers of credit are getting generated with the two buyers buying the same carbon credit because the traditional market does, did not have any transparency uh, in the process so this double counting was happening there was a lot of green washing happening 
suppose somebody has to offset 10000 credits and they are only generating 1000 credits uh, and just showing that we have done the uh, other activity so this uh, gap was is was something which is called as greenwashing so this was very prevalent before the blockchain era and uh, this is not something which is going because all these companies the countries and companies have pledged their net zero uh, some companies are going to be net zero by 2013 some by 2040 india has also pledged their to uh, their net zero goal somewhere in 2070s but to achieve this net zero goal uh, you have to offset your carbon and it has to be in a very traceable and transparent manner this is where the blockchain world has come in which has completely brought traceability and uh, transparency to the market so this is how i see blockchain helping the carbon industry in terms of traceability and uh, uh, transparency the other problem now this is a solution but what we are seeing is you can again tokenize carbon credits and the traditional market was working in a very otc kind of a manner a uh, uh, one time settlement kind of a manner uh, now with tokenizing carbons you can bring it on a marketplace and tokenized carbons can be traded so again this is bringing liquidity to the much needed market we are seeing we have created carbons uh, on a uncdm methodology and we have put it on a head on hedera's blockchain and surprisingly this are coming from indian uh, market and they are being bought by people in us or retail people uh, like retail individuals who want to just uh, offset their individual carbon footprints so this is a very amazing example of how carbon credits on blockchain are being used and the liquidity is being bought in the market okay so one more last question is from the realm of law enforcement the recent collaboration between dubai police and cardano highlights the evolving landscape of blockchain integration how do you foresee this technology shaping the future of criminal investigation worldwide i think this is a very novel and innovative uh, thing which the dubai government has done with the dubai police uh, putting law enforcement things on blockchain right. uh, i have seen uh, this being used in india as well as you know the uh, india it was very uh, not very transparent of how the police cases are being registered uh, what happens when once the police case is registered and the transparency was completely lacking i have recently seen up police using blockchain uh, technology polygon uh, so they have put the whole port, uh, port uh, they have come with a portal where the whole portal is blockchain enabled so that any buddy who wants to come and register his complaint can come to the portal and register his complaint hmm. and once it is uh, there it becomes completely trackable and you know the beauty of uh, blockchain it is immutable so somebody tries to put pressure and change the report or change any finding it cannot happen because it is in a completely public ledger completely immutable so that kind of trust and uh, transparency is maintained so i find it very very uh, unique and very novel uh, for the law enforcement agencies to have blockchain kind of a thing and i'm very happy that dubai has done it uh, in india up police is doing it on polygon and i see that a lot of places uh, in other uh, countries also where this will be used i recently heard that goa police was also uh, planning uh, this uh, mumbai police is also planning this so this is a very uh, interesting uh, thing again i think they they were using uh, metaverse dubai police is also using metaverse uh, centers where people can come and register their complaints in a blockchain and a metaverse web3 kind of a environment because a lot of time you will not may not feel very comfortable going to a police station so this metaverse kind of environment gives you that kind of comfort that you can go there interact do the first level of interaction so all these technologies will definitely help the citizens a lot and governments taking this initiative of making it accessible transfer uh, transparent to the citizens is very welcome all right thank you so much sir for being on 3.0 tv and sharing your insights with us today thank you thank you roshni so this was mr yashodhan ramtake founder of blockbus innovate so that's all for today this is me roshni shingre signing off for more such interesting updates watch 3.0 tv or log on to our website www.3versetv.io or scan the qr code thank you